Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and install Python 3.10.7 on Windows 10 or 11. So go ahead and open your browser and start typing download Python. And so here in the search results, you want to go to the first result. So go ahead and click on that link. You'll end up on this page. Here we have download the latest version of Python for Windows, but they also have links for other operating systems like Linux, Unix, and Mac OS. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the download Python 3.11 button and click on the file after it has finished downloading. So we're gonna end up on this installation screen. And the thing that's different than Python 3.11 installer is that they added this checkbox add python.exe to path. So that's kind of important. So we don't have to add Python to environment variables later. This installation takes care of that. And the reason you usually want to add your Python to path is so that you can run Python command from anywhere on your hard drive, not just the installation folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and check this checkbox and then proceed to the install now button. Now this should take you about a whole minute to install. So I'm gonna speed this up. So now here that the Python has been successfully installed, you can try an online tutorial and documentation, but you can also start using the py command to launch your Python program from the command line. You can also search for Python in your start menu. Okay, so I'm gonna close this window and and so here I'm gonna go ahead and start a new Visual Studio Code window. And so here in my VS Code editor, I'm going to open a new Python project, which I already have started in my folder on C drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and open folder from VS Code and go to my C drive. I'm going to locate my projects folder here I have my React, JavaScript, and all those projects. So I'm gonna to go to Python. I'm gonna go into that folder and click on the APIs folder and click on select folder. So here I showed you how to open your Python project in VS Code. And it's really just a basic Python program I have here that prints out hello world in reverse. Now, in order to run a Python program in Visual Studio Code Terminal, you want to use the Python or Python 3 command. But remember how when we installed Python on Windows, in our previous step, the installation window told us it also installed py launcher. So this Python program really just takes a basic string and uses this operator here to inverse it and print it out. So now I'm gonna go to my terminal in VS Code and I'm gonna start typing py space in the name of the program, which is api.py and hit enter. And as you can see, we reverse a string in Python by running this program. So these brackets with columns and a negative number is a slicing operator in Python, and we use it with a negative number to inverse the value. Now you can also go to the start button and type CMD or command prompt. And this is going to open up the command prompt and to verify the installed version of Python, type Python dash dash version and hit enter. And as you can see here, I have installed Python 3.10, which is actually my previous installation of Python um, because we installed 3.11. So where does this come from? It's happening because it's totally possible to have multiple Pythons installed on your system. I'm gonna show you how to change your Python version in the next step, but let's go ahead and run this Python program from the command line. As you can see, we have inversed or reversed the string once again. So you can also use Python command to run the application, but let's go back to our Visual Studio Code editor with my Python program here. And I want you to go to extensions and start typing Python. So we're going to install Python extension for our VS Code editor. And I'm gonna show you how to change Python versions. So here, click on the install button and just wait for the installation process to finish. And you will see at the bottom, it's gonna say discovering Python interpreters. 
So VS Code, what it's doing right now, it's going through your hard drive, trying to find every single version of Python installed on your system. And you want to use the correct version of Python when compiling your Python programs. And at the bottom here, you will see the button after installing this Python extension, it says Python. So if you go there, nothing really will happen. What you need is another button located to the right of Python, which shows you the current version of Python for this Python project open in VS Code right now. And if you click on that button, it will give you a list of all currently installed versions of Python on your system. So here I have 3.8, 3.10, and all of those different versions I installed making tutorials. So again, all you have to do is click on this button and select a version of Python that you want to use for this project. And so this is how you change your Python version in your VS Code project. I'm going to go ahead and select 3.11, which is the version we installed in the beginning of this tutorial. And that's the Python version VS Code will use to run and compile the currently open Python project in your Visual Studio Code editor. And so guys, I'm going to go back to my VS Code editor and I'm going to create a simple Python program that swaps to variables. So here I have x equals 100 and y equals 300. And we're going to swap the values between those two variables. To do that, you want to create a temporary variable and assign it to the first variable, which is x. And then what you want to do is assign x to y because it's no longer in that value. It's safe to do that. And then finally, assign the y to temp, which is a copy of x right here. And so running this is going to swap the values of these two variables. To verify that, let's print out the x and y variables. So value of x equals dot format x and the same for y, which is going to be print value of y brackets dot format y. Let's go to the terminal to run this Python program. Type py space api.py, hit enter, and as you can see, a value of x is 300 and used to be 100. Value of y is 100, used to be 300. And so basically, this is how you swap values of variables in Python or really in any language. So this is just the basic approach, which is basically just making a copy of a variable you want to exchange and then assigning the new variable to that value.